Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all. This is a Christian Prince with you. Um, I hope everyone is doing good and today our video will be short because we don't have a good connection to go live. Uh, today my question or my topic is about if we give donation, do that make us go to heaven? And actually it's not about donation. If somebody asks you if you give him money that will make you go to heaven do you think really this person he present or he can be uh, you know trustworthy can he be really from God why a prophet of God he would like you to donate in order to go to heaven I mean can we bribe God so there's a donation can be made for anyone and this is a wonderful thing uh, to help someone who need help but there is someone who asks you to make donation and he claim if you do it you go to heaven that is our topic so we are not talking about someone making donation to someone you know donation is a blessing um, you know there is you know you can uh, donate to someone is poor you can donate to someone is homeless you can donate to someone is sick you can donate uh, donate to church to help them in their ministry etc but in Christianity to make it simple your donation is not what will take you to heaven in other words we cannot bribe God in this case for us as a Christians our our God is the Messiah so if somebody think by donating money to someone he will go to heaven you are just for yourself if somebody told you if you make a donation to me that will make you to go to heaven he is for you and now you are for yourself again so today we are going to study and see if Muhammad really is one of those scammers who teach that if you make a donation to me you go to heaven First of all, we will go to the Quran <clears throat> and we will find uh, a verse in the Quran saying the following. This is a chapter 25, verse number 57. And this you can read any translation you want. As you know, I don't accept any translation made by Muslims, all of it is false. But we will use the Muslim translation in order uh, to get Muhammad busted as usual. So if we take Yusuf Ali or Big Tal or anyone, doesn't matter really for me. All right. Uh, if you read any the other translation, you will see uh, we took Biktal, right? Yeah, we uh, this is Biktal. We will take Yosef uh, Mohsen Khan. We will take uh, Yosef Ali. You know, just to show Muslims that we are not choosing uh, a certain one. Say, I ask you for no reward for this. This is the translation of Victor. So Muhammad here in the Quran saying, I'm not asking you for any reward. I don't want anything for myself. Now, when you hear this, this is this is mean Muhammad is a good guy. You know, Muhammad obviously here, he's a good guy. I mean, uh, how you can accuse someone who says to you, I don't want anything from you. I am doing you a free service uh, for the sake of God. Uh, you know, and uh, I don't want anything. I mean, nobody can really uh, open his mouth and say a word. And you can read any translation. You will see all of them, they are coming in the same way. So now, what is the problem then? If Muhammad is saying uh, that I am not asking asking you to do me, to do me any, anything, to give me any money, I don't want your money. Uh, uh, I don't want anything from you. Uh, and even in different verse in the Quran, Muhammad he said, uh, So Muhammad he gave an advice for the Muslims, saying that ask not, I mean uh, uh, follow, follow not those who ask you for wages. In other way, uh, follow those who ask you uh, for wages. Sorry, don't ask those who follow, ask you for wages. Now, based on this, you know. Uh, this is a great uh, sign of a person who claimed to be a prophet and I have no problem really with this person saying such a, a sentence and a statement that you know what 
we should not follow a person who asks for wages and I ask you for no wages and we showed you two verses if we go here let us show you the front verse so now we showed you 25 verse 57 you can read all the translation all of those translation is coming and you can read the interpretation too that uh, I am not asking you for any wages you know okay so now we got this Muhammad is saying clearly I am asking you not for any wages all right we go to different verse in the Quran <clears throat> Um, it is hold on. It w men find it first. Chapter thirty six, verse number twenty one says, Follow those who ask you not for wages let us see translation this time we can take uh, yusuf ali all right obey those who ask no reward for themselves actually it doesn't say reward i mean translation is funny it is wages the word ajr in arabic is wages this is why i think the muslims they use a, a funny dictionary when they translate uh, Follow him who does not ask you for reward. Let us see other translation. Uh, Mahsin Khan. This guy, he got it right. Uh, follow those or obey those who ask no wages of you. For who? For themselves. All right. Now, he would be for themselves between, between, between it, between two brackets, right? But obviously, the Muslim trying to say to you, if those people who ask you for themselves, then you should not give them. All right, that's wonderful. But then we find that Muhammad, he asked for himself wages. As we see in many verses in the Quran, chapter 58, verse number 12, it says, Oh, you believer, if you want to come and meet the Prophet and ask him for private uh, favor, uh, you know. Uh, uh, you know uh, give him money you have to give him money if you want to consult read with me oh who you believe when you consult with the messenger in private it's a private clinic Muhammad is the shrink spend something you know before you uh, come to the private consultation you have to pay first you know now why a person who is working for God and God is his provider or he is worried about spending something in order for him to help you you see where the spending will be is going to be in the house of Muhammad he have to give something to Muhammad but Muhammad in the other verses says follow not those who ask you for wages in other way says actually if follow those who ask you for no wages but obviously he is asking for wages and not only that Muhammad he made a chapter in the Quran speaking about that he have he have the right to have the fifth from every attack. Why? Why Muhammad need the fifth of every attack? What about Muhammad? He, all of them, they are thieves anyway. I mean, it's a, it's a spoil of, of attacking them and stealing the money of others. Why Muhammad, he want to designate certain amount of money for his pocket, his pocket. But we just showed you before, it says that, you know what? Uh, you, you know, I ask you for no wages. You should know that every from every attack in war, the fifth shares is assigned to Allah and His Messenger Muhammad. He make himself equal to Allah and equal to His Messenger. So Muhammad simply he is a hypocrite man who claimed that you should not follow a person who is asking you for money. Hello. At the same time, he was eating the money. Imagine from every attack, the fifth go to the, to the pocket of Muhammad. Imagine right now, if all the collected tax in USA, the fifth of it go to the pocket of a Trump. I mean, can you imagine how much money that is? How many trillion dollars, not billions? That's scary. But remember, the Muslim they say to us, Muhammad, when he died, he borrowed money from his neighbor, the Jew. What neighbor, the Jew? What the liars? Well, there's no Jews around him. He killed them all. What Jews? 
and I will give you an example because we cannot make the video longer here in the front of us we are we have a story when Muhammad he spoke to women and he scared women saying to them uh, you know obviously you will go to hell why because they are women according to Muhammad women they should go to hell why I observed a prayer with the Messenger of Allah on the day of etc and you know uh, then he came to women all right let us make it shorter and then he said speak to women and he uh, uh, preached to the people and admonished them then he walked till he came to women to the women so in purpose he walked to the women and preached to them and admonished them and ask them to give alms Huh? Give arms to who? We will see in a second. For most of them are the fuel of hell. Okay, hold on. Why somebody is the fuel of hell is going to give a charity? <laughs> you know what I mean? If I am the fuel of hell, why I want to give you charity? I mean, what the charity for? So for most of them they are the fuel of hell a woman having dark spot you know obviously they are trying to insult her saying that she is she have a bad looking because she questioned the prophet uh, uh, or they are trying to say she is uh, you know remember in islam uh, uh, if you have uh, uh, you know a certain look for them this is a bad looking so she have dark spots I don't know what does that mean like is that uh, a sign of uh, something uh, why she have a dark spot anyway we'll let it go uh, she said why uh, Muhammad he said for you you know uh, you often you are not grateful and you curse a lot and uh, you know you are not grateful to your uh, uh, to your spouse and then they began to give alms of their from their money how the what what they start taking off their jewelries their earring their rings and throw it in the clothes of bilal bilal he opened his uh, uh dress his uh, sheet or his coat bilal the slave of muhammad who muhammad never freed him you know the, the poor bilal he died uh, muhammad he died and still he wasn't free and then he went to abu Bakr and he asked him to free him and he said to him, if you bought me for the sake of Allah, well, free me for the sake of Allah. If you bought me for the sake of yourself, give me. Hmm. But the Muslims are so, this is the poor Bilal. He was just the the, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the money collector, the slave who carried the things for Muhammad. Muhammad he is, uh, you know, why when I carry those things, even if they are gold and silver, you know, you have a slave. Uh, why the prophet don't take it? Because he have a slave. And why the prophet is asking them to pay money anyway? I mean, they are going to go to hellfire because they are doing this. Shouldn't he say to them, fix what you do, repent, and don't do it? And instead of that, he is saying to them, give money. Give me your rings. Give me your jewelries. So he scared the women to make them believe, if you don't give me money, you will go to hell. And that is exactly what scammers they do. And by the way, this does not exist only in Islam. You might find some... Uh, 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 people who claim to be Christians, Christian uh, churches, but they are obviously they are false. They, they say, "Call you, call us right now." God is listening to us. Call, we will pray for you. And it's like they, almost they are granting you to go to heaven. I mean, what what God call me right now and donate? You know what, what is that? There is nowhere in Christianity, and never Jesus said that if you you you, you cannot bribe God, you can bribe Allah. Because this is what Muhammad is convincing the women here that if you pay me, you are from the fuel of hellfire, but now you better pay me. So you can stay rude and you can curse and you can be ungrateful to your husbands. But if you give charity to Muhammad, well, don't worry about it. And the funny, the Muslim, they say to you that one in, the, in a certain time, uh, the Pope of the Catholic, he gave. Uh, like what they call it, uh, the document or a certificate to go to heaven. And by the way, this was false. I studied it very well. 
and I found that this is not true. However, the first one who did such a thing, it was Muhammad. Muhammad, he promised 10 people to go to heaven, and the first one of them, it was Uthman ibn Affan, because he was the big donor to Muhammad. He promised him heaven. And now, as you see, women who might go to hell, actually most of them, they are going to hell guaranteed, as he said, you know, most of you are the fuel of hellfire. And now if you give your rings and your earring and your bracelet of gold and silver and jewelries and diamonds, eh, Muhammad, he will intercede for you. You know, I mean, you, you got your choice, give me money, I will solve the problem. This is what happened always in Middle Eastern countries or all the third world country. If you have a problem with the judge, etc., just to bribe them, and this the problem will be solved. You know, they are gods, gods of this earth, who they are working working for the devil, they can be bribed. That is Allah. You cannot bribe our Lord the Messiah, Jesus the Christ. Thank you for watching, and I hope I will not have a very hard time to load this video because I thought I'm going to make it short, but it was not. So thank you. I, will, I wish I can tell you where I am exactly right now, but maybe after I leave the place, I will talk about the previous place so we can we can share some news with you together. Thank you very much, guys, and God bless you. Don't forget to like and share and download the video if you like it, and subscribe, and that will make our work spread better, and more people will learn, and they will enjoy the truth. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. I mean to that. See you soon again.